Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to opening day in the MLB. We've got our Milwaukee Brewers Defend MKE shirt on. And I'm so excited for the Milwaukee Brewers season this year. Team's looking great. I'm excited for Yasmani Grandal. I'm excited for all the young guys coming up to, to pitch in the starting rotation. So hopefully we can get through the Cardinals today. The Cardinals are looking great too. So if you guys are a Cardinals fan, good luck to you guys. But let me know your favorite team in the comment section down below. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys subscribe and leave a like on the video. I got a few shout outs to do here, guys. Last night on my stream, I added a wheel. So for every subscriber that we got, which is the $5 paid subscription on Twitch, they got to spin the wheel and then we see what they win. And three of them won a shout out in my next video. And so as promised, shout out first and foremost to Blood Pups for being a nine month subscriber on my Twitch, dude. So shout out to him. He, he was the first sub, the first guy to spin the wheel. And next we've got Logie Frog. If you guys know her in the community, she's an up and coming creator also on Twitch streams. And then that, that was gifted by I Ain't Too Bright. So shout out to both of those amazing people right there. And then of course, last but not least, GSTM headshots gifted by Brown Hammer. So shout out to both those dudes right there. My phone is going off. We've got some amazing people over on Twitch, guys. So make sure you guys go watch my streams over there because all my streams are going to be on Twitch and all my videos are here on YouTube. But guys, today we're going to talk about team affinity. If you guys didn't know what that was, basically you earn team specific rewards by doing specific stuff. And exactly what they say here. If we go ahead and look at the Baltimore Orioles, we've got some missions that we got to do. You know, this ties in with March to October. You guys are really enjoying March to October. I have not tried it yet. There's just so many things to do in this game, but I definitely will get to March to October because I want to unlock some of these cards. So basically, guys, we're going to name off the best rewards out of Team Affinity. So if you guys want to focus on those players first, I suggest that because ultimately, you know, most, most of these players are good, but these players that we're going to pick today for the best Team Affinity rewards are going to help your team out the most. So, but if we look at the Baltimore Orioles first, 250 innings with Baltimore players give you a five and you'll unlock that first one right, right away. And this is repeatable. So if you continue to have like nine or like yeah, nine players on your team that are Baltimore Baltimore Orioles, you're going to be able to pump these innings out very quickly. And obviously March to October is going to give you the most out of this, but there's also exchanges. So they give you a few options to, you know, get your points because at because at 50 earned that's when you get the diamond for that team so if you wanted to you can do some exchanges 10 15 and 20 that's that's 45 already then you don't have to do any march to october if you don't want to so that's the breakdown for every single team now let's look at all the rewards guys and i'm gonna tell you in no specific order we're just gonna go from left to right which cards I think are the first ones you guys should go for. But for the Baltimore Orioles, we have Zach Brin at stamina of 25, hits per nine, 108, 87 case per nine, 99 velocity, guys. This is a very good card, but he does not actually make my list. Remember, this is just my opinions. If you guys think like Zach Brin should be in this list, let me know in the comment section down below. But this is just my list of 10 people that I thought or 10 players that I thought would benefit your team early in the season. So 97 break as well, sinker slider, four seamer, two seam fastball, 95 miles per hour, 97 on the fastball, sinker's 95, slider's at 83. So very good card, but like I said, does not make my top 10 list. Remember, this is the best Team Affinity Rewards video, so I'm, I'm gonna try to find you guys the best. Next we go to the Chicago White Sox and their diamond is Luis Aparicio. Not making my list for a top as well. I just think this card does not have enough contact or power. I know the contact guys are very good this year. And Aparicio actually looks like a really good card with the fielding and the speed. But I just don't think he's going to be considered as a top team affinity reward for this video. So... A well, very good vision, very good fielding, guys, and very good speed. Next, we've got the Angels, and their diamond is an, is an 85 diamond, Garrett Richards. Another very good card here, guys. Four-seamer slider, two-seamer, curveball, and changeup. A good 85 diamond, but, you know, pretty average with a lot of what diamonds we're seeing right now 96 velocity 85 break if this card's case per nine was a little bit was a little bit better you know he may be an 88 89 overall but garrett richards breakout for the angels and then we move on to our very first top team affinity reward pick in the braves guys we've got we've got 89 overall first baseman Fred McGriff at 91 and 72 contact, 93 and 64 power with 77 vision. Fielding's not too good. It's actually pretty, 
average for a first baseman. You see a lot of first basemen with like common and bronze fielding. And so Fred McGriff is actually a really good card to take here. 89 diamond for the Braves. And I've actually got some innings going for him right now. I haven't done any of the exchanges yet, I don't think. But definitely going to go push for Fred McGriff because that looks like an amazing card. I do like my lefty batter. So that's one of my top picks so far. Remember, these are in no particular order. Next, we've got the Chicago Cubs. Another top tier team affinity reward player that I suggest you guys get. I'm working towards this right now. I've completed a couple of the exchanges there. Some innings done. So we have Kyle Schwarber. We got, we know that this card already ranks. We knew in 17. We knew in 18. And now he's back again for MLB The Show 19 early in the game. He's got 88 contact and 59 versus left. 109 and 82 power, guys. We know, we know this card can rake. 43 vision. Fielding is not very good at left field and I'm weary about starting him at catcher this year you know they said they made sure secondary positions are gonna have a hundred a harder time with their feelings so I'm really I don't know if we should throw him over at catcher if we get him but we're definitely gonna try and we may even make a video on it too just to you know help you guys out if you guys were thinking about getting this card and putting him at catcher so 85 diamond Chicago Cubs another great card that's two of the ten that I have on my list today We've got Justin Upton. Not a bad card, but this guy, this diamond does not make our top 10 list today. We've got the Boston Red Sox. John Lester does not make the cut either. Cleveland Indians. We've got Michael Brantley. He almost made the cut for this, but then I looked back and I was like, wait, there might be a better players than Michael Brantley. If Michael Brantley, if this was a top 11 list, Michael Brantley would make that list as the 11th man. But there you are. Here are his stats for Michael Brantley. And then we move on to the A's. The third best pick in this video, we've got Josh Donaldson. Breakout from 2013 in the A's jersey. Contacts at 77 and 101. 54 and 81 power. Gold fielding. So really great fielding over there at third base with the 83 arm strength. He makes the list because he's got, a, you know... All around pretty good stats. I'm starting to really weigh heavy on fielding this year because I, I can tell. I can tell that fielding is a lot harder this year. And so that is why Josh Donaldson makes the list in that number three spot. And then we go to Miami. This one was actually pretty good too. Miguel Cabrera. That Miami Miguel Cabrera. That's there for y'all. We've got the Reds with Johnny Cueto. Nothing really special here. Just a high 88 overall diamond. Johnny Cueto starting pitching card. But then on our fourth, on the fourth guy on the list, this one's actually really good. I might go for this very, very soon here. We got Dante Bichette. Look at those hitting stats. 95 and 92 contact, 79 and 99 power with 80 vision. He does only have a bronze fielding, but I love the hitting stats on this card. Could be a good bench card, but even if you need that power, you know, you'll just have to play a little bit harder in the outfield with this card. We've got the Yankees next. He does not make the list. This was very close. The only reason why David Robertson is would not be my top 10 pick is because he only has three pitches. He has a cutter, a knuckle curve, and a changeup. And that cutter is only 93 miles per hour. He's got great hits per nine, great case per nine, but that velocity, I think a lot of people are going to have a really easy time hitting this card with only a cutter, knuckle curve, and changeup. Next up, we have another top pick. We have a new legend, Hardware 91 Diamond, Hal Newhauser. This card actually looks really good, guys. Four-seam fastball that reaches at least 97 miles per hour, 118 stamina, hits per nine at 85, 101 case per nine. And I did hear that home runs per nine is a very good stat to look at this year because it does do more this year. I think I heard that in one of their streams. I'm not sure, but confirm with me down below. But Hal Newhauser is going to be on the list for the number five spot, I believe. And then we're going to go back to back. Another pick on my list, we've got Jay Buhner. Diamond hitting, diamond fielding, 65 and 86 contact, 92 and 104 power. Fielding is amazing, 82 fielding, 97 arm strength. That's a very good starting right fielder right there, guys. So another top card that I recommend, and we're just going to keep going here because this is going to be three in a row of recommended diamond cards, guys. Washington Nationals, Trey Turner, speed. Okay, I picked Ricky Henderson for my first pre-order card, and it's worked out for me. Ricky Henderson, I think, is batting 450 for me. 
every single turns into basically a triple but trey turner is looking a lot like that card 108 and 93 contact 69 and 39 power visions at 73 but that speed 97 95 and 99 can play second base shortstop left field and right field too i wouldn't recommend it with only 65 fielding but this card i've heard some good things about it i can't wait to try it out the milwaukee brewers i don't know if i'm gonna go for this one guys uh, i you know it's i've never really liked using Ros raleigh fingers but it's not it's not a bad card but if you know i don't think i'm gonna go for this i might just do these just to get the free packs but you know probably not gonna use the milwaukee brewers even though i'm a milwaukee brewers fan probably not gonna use the raleigh fingers dodgers we have the 90 don sutton which was not a bad card last year so i'm probably still gonna try to get this card it just does not make the cut for our top 10 into team affinity so Next up, we've got the Rays. Another guy that made the list, 87, Ben Zobris. I've always liked all the Ben Zobris cards. Switch hitting bat, 78 and 94 contact, 73 and 74 power. And then we've got that gold feeling. A complete utility guy here. Can play first base, third base, shortstop, left field, center field, and right field. Basically anywhere in the in infield besides catcher and pitcher. So a really cool card to get early in the game if you wanted to switch hitting bats you know even your team out a little bit and then we've got two more guys on the list here and we'll let you know which ones they are once we get there but the kansas city royals you know they get they get brett saberhagen case per nine pretty low 95 mile hour fastball so nothing too special that 90 overall is pretty good though texas rangers we've got 87 u darvish so we've got 89 jose reyes which was really close to making the list today because i mean look at those stats 89 diamond very very good speed great contact power's a little lacking but what makes this card great is that fielding and speed so don't get me wrong i'm probably gonna go for that mets one as well but we've got two other guys that i think you know you guys should go for first felipe vasquez pretty similar to his card right now the live series gold so he will not be making the list today but if you guys are pittsburgh pirates fans and felipe vasquez fan fans that's that's a pretty good card to get as well chase headley another card switch hitting card that i might try to unlock just to have fun with but then our second to last on the list we've got edwin Encarnacion, first baseman diamond hitting I would not put him over at third base. I did last year. Last year, he was my starting third baseman for at least the first month of the season, and it worked out for me. So, Edwin Encarnacion, 78-84 contact, 86 and 113 power. Amazing power, guys. If you saw my videos, if you saw my live streams last year, you guys know this card was one of my favorites starting out in the season. So, he makes the list today. We're down to our final five team. And the last guy on the list is on the Minnesota Twins brian dozier pretty similar to that edwin encarnacion that we just saw second baseman probably one of the most powerful second baseman cards in the game right now that i've seen if there's someone else let me know but 67 and 76 contact 85 and 95 power visions at 64 fielding is just fine for second base that arm strength is okay for second base too and then we've got decent speed on the brian dozier so those are my 10 that i want to go after first in no specific order i'll probably honestly go for the kyle schwarber first just because i know that card can rake but then we've got houston strolls dallas keichel not bad either philadelphia phillies we've got richie ashburn 108 contact 111 contact as well 102 vision another great contact card there cardinals we've got bob gibson his immortal card last year was amazing so that's all we know about that and then that last but not least another card that's actually pretty good probably the highest overall card i should say yes he is the highest overall diamond in tim in team affinity 92 diamond juan marshall 117 stamina velocity is pretty low but that break is pretty good so it's really up to you guys who you guys want to grind first but these grinds should not be hard and I'm glad that they added this in the game and it, that it ties in with March to October. Guys, let me know in the comment section below which one you guys are going to go after first. If you enjoyed this video and if it helped you out, make sure you guys leave a sub down below. I'm going to say this early because we're very close. Thank you so much for 25,000 subscribers on YouTube. Let's keep killing it, guys. The ultimate goal is 100K. And I hope you get it. And I'll catch you in the next one.